I just want to tell you that you are very valuable and you are very unique and that's the one thing I want to tell you. Find your true value and, and actually heal your broken heart. Find back to who you truly are. Uh, and today I'm gonna share something with you uh, and I have a website called Good News for Broken Hearts and I'm doing, doing some teaching there so today I'm, I'm coming live to you and I, I just want to, to share a teaching with you uh, to share something on my heart and I'm going to share a, a question that uh, many many people have and many many Christians they struggle with this question and I, I'm trying to uh, answer I want to to try to answer that question today and I also want to just to, to remind you that uh, you can also uh, download uh, some of my teaching or most of my teaching most most weeks I have uh, a live stream like this or um, I'm recording uh, our teaching also um, and putting it out on uh, podcast so I have a podcast almost every week in English I'm not able to do it every every week but uh, it will be quite regularly regularly I will make a, a podcast so so please feel free to go to my website goodnewsforbrokenhearts.com and you can find a link there and download uh, download this teaching and also if you want to do, donate something to this ministry uh, to this yeah the the teaching I'm doing on the internet feel free to do that also and you can find a link to paypal on my website goodnewsforbrokenhearts.com uh, so but but the question i have for you uh, or the, the question that many many christians have uh, is this question's question can i lose my salvation so but this question uh, i want to ask today can i lose my salvation and actually what i'm going to say now for many people they maybe they they're thinking maybe he's he's a heretic or something like that because my question my answer to that question is actually you cannot you lose your salvation and maybe you're thinking what are you talking about you know i'm sure are you talking about one time saved always saved that i can go out and sin as much as much as i want and and i won't lose my salvation and and i it's okay to sin don't, do you say that it's okay to sin that we can go out and sin as much as we want and there will not be no consequences or that it's, it's okay with sin is that what I'm saying no it's not uh, and I'm going to explain for you uh, but can I tell you in the Bible it doesn't say one place that you can lose your salvation like in the same way that I can maybe lose my wallet or, or something like that it's not like something you you just lose suddenly lose salvation is not something you suddenly lose uh, for for example for instance if you fall into a sin or something like that and then then suddenly you 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 lost your salvation it's not like every time you fall into a sin or or if you do a big sin uh, you f you fall out of salvation and you fall in in again if you maybe confess your sins or or something like that and many Christians they believe that they think that they feel that or they unconsciously sometimes uh, they kind of think that but I cannot tell you the truth is not the truth <laughs> you, you don't find that in the Bible that you can lose your salvation and I know that it is it is this uh, the greatest fear that many Christians have has as, as I already told you it's the greatest fear and, and and then the question I have most on my website I have a Norwegian website too uh, and I'm I've been doing this for and I'm, I'm teaching on the internet I've been doing that for actually 15 years probably about 15 years I've been teaching on the internet I started with mp3 and then I I like for eight years ago I started with video um, but I had done this for, for a long time and one of the question one of the main question I have is this question have I lost my salvation or have I done, done the unpardonable sin uh, and and so on those are the those questions I, I often get so it's it, it is one of the fears the main fears that many many Christians have and maybe it's 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 about maybe you you slept with someone or you slept with your boyfriend or girlfriend 
uh, or you you get drunk on a party or something like that and or or even it it can be that you get got angry angry at god and, and you cursed god or you you said a curse word and because you said that cursed word curse word you are thinking that you're done up on part the most sin and you're not on the way to heaven again any longer or even it can be that uh, they're thinking that uh, God hasn't forgiven them or even uh, rejected them in a way or lost their salvation uh, until if they have done a sin and, 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 and they have kind of God has uh, rejected them or, or lost their salvation until they confess that sin um, uh, really confess that sin uh, and uh, with tears and everything and, and maybe even sins that you have done many years back. If you you need to remember all your sins you've done, and if you have you don't do that, you are lost, or you you don't you are not saved, <laughs> or you have lost your salvation, or something like that. If you have something you have forgotten, a sin you have forgotten to confess. And with this, uh, you know, there's there there's sometimes there are questions that that rises up, and and uh, with this, do, do, do I say that it's okay to sin? And I, I want to say, like, like Paul is saying, no, not at all. <laughs> it's not okay. Sin is not okay. I, don't, I, I never said that, and I never will say that, and the Bible never say that. It's actually talking about sin as an enemy, and it wants to, to, to fool you, it wants to tempt you, and, and to do sin, to be, you, 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 and when you're doing sin, you are slave to sin. And, and God and Jesus just doesn't want you to be slave to sin. And it has negative consequences for you and for other people but what i'm saying is that you don't lose your salvation when you sin or if you do a sin or fall into a sin even if it is a, a sin that you do re, uh, uh, repeatedly um, or as a, a big sin or a small sin it doesn't really matter you don't lose your salvation by doing a sin and that's that's uh, probably my main point <laughs> you don't lose your salvation by that and as i said you you don't really lose to lose your salvation i don't believe you can do that and with that i also am not saying that one once one time saved always saved that you can that you, you go to heaven anyway if you have said yes to jesus you go to heaven it's still a choice and i, I will come back to that but it is still your choice if you want to go to heaven or not it's still your choice you can still choose to go, not go to heaven. You can still go, choose to go, uh, go to another place, a hot place. You know, it's a, it's your choice. But but you can't lose it. Like you suddenly you lose it, like by a sin or something like that. Sin can fool you, and by the road you can take the wrong choices. But sin to do a sin in itself doesn't make you f fall out of salvation or or lose your salvation. So, uh, so again, uh, my, my point is this, that you can't not you lose your salvation, but you can deny him. You can deny Jesus, and you can deny what he has done for you, and you can choose to turn away from God. And then God has no other choice than to deny you. And that is what the Bible is teaching us and telling us. Uh, let me show, me, uh, show you a uh, scripture here from 2 Timothy uh, 2, 12 to 13. It says that, uh, uh, I'll, I'm, I'm reading in Norwegian here, and I will read it in English, in King, New King James here. Um, it says that, uh, if we endure, we shall also reign with him. If we, if, if we deny him, he also will deny us. But if we are faithless, he remains faithful. For he cannot deny himself. God cannot cannot deny himself, and that's it's very important. The last thing here is is very important, and as we can say here, see here that if we deny him, if I choose to deny God, God has no other choice than to den deny us. But if we are faithless, or if, yeah, if we are faithless. It, will, it means that if we do a mistake, if we do a sin, he is still faithful. He has still forgiven your sins. 
actually God forgave your sin once and for all 2,000 years ago on the cross. He has forgiven your sins. And that is, he is faithful to that word. He has forgiven you. So, uh, so, uh, so yes, you can be faithful, you are unfaithful, or, or you can fall into a sin, faithless, and you can fall into a sin, but he is still faithful, and he cannot deny himself. So he is still forgiving you. He has to, his forgiveness is still there for you. But you can't take a choice to deny God. And as I said, if you deny him, you don't give a God a choice, another choice, then he, he denies deny you. So I, with this, I hope you see that I, I'm not a universalist to say that uh, uh, everyone, everybody, everybody, everybody will go to heaven one day. Uh, I'm also not, not uh, a person who's saying that uh, one time saved, always saved. I think you can still choose. Uh, you can still choose to deny him, to, to, to deny God. But if we fall into a sin, God is faithful. So don't be afraid that if you have fall into a sin and fall into some sins, that God has denied you, that God has, has um, rejected you or you fall out of salvation. Even if it should be that the thousandth time you have done the same sin, God is faithful towards you and he has forgiven you all your sins. Even if it should be a big one or a small one, God has forgiven you. In Psalm, uh, Psalm also he says that he, he don't do with us after, uh, after our sins or he, he don't uh, repay us um, uh, by our sins when we do sins, when we do mistakes. Uh, in Psalm 103, 10, he's, he's talking about that. I, I'm reading from Norwegian again here, so I'm translating it uh, directly from Norwegian. Um, but God will never punish you or reject you for your sin anymore because God this, the punishment for your sin was paid for once and for all he, 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 he punished sin once and for all on a cross by Jesus and he forgave you all your sins both in the past and also in the future for 2000 years ago on the cross he did that for you so it actually says in, in, in there, are, there are other places in the Bible too where it's talking about that, that you can that you can um, deny God in a way in First Timothy one one nineteen you can you can read read it for yourself uh, I just mentioning it here it says that you can uh, you can uh, yeah you you can deny him and also in Hebrew but we are not of those who would draw back to predition. Predish, it's like we're going per perish. <laughs> Perdition here. It's like we're we not going back to, to get perish, but of those who believe uh, to uh, salvation of the soul or the saving of the soul. Uh, so, so, so it's talking about you can draw away and, and get perished, go to perish. We can choose to do that. So it's a choice we can take. So, uh, so that's my answer to this, this question. Can I lose my salvation? I say, no, you can't. But you can choose to go away from him. You can choose to deny God. You can choose to deny Jesus. And he has to uh, deny you. So don't do that. <laughs> but, but your sin will not separate you from God anymore. Your sins did separate you from God before. But Jesus did something about that, and did something about sin, the power of sin. The power of sin was broken on the cross. And you have Jesus living on the inside of you, and you are not separated from him anymore. You are one with him. You have become one with God. You are not separated from him. And you are not falling in and out of salvation every time you do a sin. That's very important. If, if not, it, it, it wouldn't, you know, we were talking about the good news. If that was true, that was not good news. If you fall in and out of salvation every time you do a sin, then that is not good news. So, as I said, by your choice, you can, you can take a choice to go away and deny God, and sometimes you believe lies, and, 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 and sin can lure, lure you into believing the wrong thing, and lure you to, to take the wrong choice. But 
God is not the one who is who rejecting you. You need to, to take that choice yourself first. And then, if you're taking that choice, God can have no other choice than, than to deny you. So I hope that was very clear. Uh, just in the end here, I just wanted to say something about, you know, the story about Peter when he denied Jesus on the on the on the on the night of uh, when uh, on the on the last supper uh, when the when the people uh, when the soldier came for Jesus and and and, uh, and we know the story uh, that uh, Jesus denied Jesus that he knew Jesus three times um, and someone thinking did he lose his, his salvation with him when he did that and you know, I, I went to when I go, I went to like uh, like school. Uh, it was like what you call it. Uh, the we have uh, not the primary school, but after primary school. I, I sometimes I don't remember the, the American or English uh, school system, but uh, but at least I was I was probably around 17, 18 years old, and I went to school, and I, uh, and I got uh, I got mocked a lot. People didn't like me there, and and. Uh, and I had a, a very bad self-image. I was a very quiet person. I have a lot of pimples. I, I wasn't very popular at school. And, and I was actually afraid of telling that I was a Christian. Um, uh, in one way, I wished to tell that I was a Christian, but, but on the other side, I didn't want that because I didn't want to be mocked more because I was so mocked before, so if they really know, knew that I was a Christian, they, they probably would, would even, it, it will even get worse. So I was afraid of people finding out that I, I was a Christian. And I rem remember one day I, I, I had, I had, a, I had a, like a card in my, in my, in my wallet uh, and I was buying some, uh, something in the, in the, wherever you're buying, buying food in the can canteen and then, and I was, uh, I was having this card in uh, and it was the John 316 you know and um, and he, he was looking at it and says uh, are you are you like you're like a Christian or something like that are you Christian and I kind of I didn't answer him you know but because I was afraid I didn't really answer him <laughs> and and then there was another person um, who said that uh, yeah you 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 when you go to school you you talk about Jesus you, you do that you witness about Jesus when you go to school to you you remember to do that you need to remember to do that you, you do that right and I said yes uh, yeah sure sure I'm doing doing that and you know I was lying because I didn't do that <laughs> but I was also afraid that other uh, you know I had had fear both fear that 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 when other people found out that I was a Christian. I I would would get mocked. I will. I, it will get worse. And then I, I come to the Christians, and they saying, "You need to tell. You need to tell on at, in this, in your school. You need to be a testimony for God, and and you need to tell about Jesus there. And you, if you deny Jesus, you, He will deny you. And you hear um, like almost sermons like that. And then you you are not very uh, bold, and 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 you are afraid, and and you're thinking. You, need, you really have a lot of condemnation. I had a lot of condemnation when when you when you hear things like that, and I had that. But but um, I was on the one side. I was afraid of all these people that that want to mock me if I was a Christian, and then on the other side, I was afraid of the Christians who would who would condemn me if I didn't tell that I was a Christian. So it was a bad, bad, bad thing in a way. It was difficult. I really struggled both with my Christian life and also with my, yeah, with, with my personal like identity. I had a really hard time. And I, I was afraid of this. I was really afraid of this, that I had lost my salvation, that I have denied Jesus. And I had done maybe the unpardonable sin or I had done something wrong uh, or I denied Jesus and then Jesus will deny me. I was really afraid of that. I was really afraid that I have denied God and lost my salvation. But what was the reason why I, I, I didn't say that I was a Christian or kind of almost denied it? It was fear. In my heart, I, I, I really didn't want to, wanted to do that. I wanted to tell that I was a Christian, but I was afraid. 
I was afraid that I was mocked more, that people yeah, would say bad things about me or even do something to me. So I was afraid. So I did it out of fear. And, and in a way you can say that, that that's the same case with Peter. When, when Peter denied Jesus, he did it out of fear. He was afraid. He was afraid that he will die. He was afraid that he will be crucified too. So Peter, he denied Jesus because he was afraid. And I bil don't believe that Jesus or that Peter lost his salvation <laughs> or something like that or, or kind of uh, make a, made a choice to deny Jesus totally. Or de he didn't make a choice to den deny Jesus. He didn't do that. But he said he, he, he didn't know Jesus because he was afraid. And but then Jesus is, is uh, you know, the, you know, this, uh, when he, after the resurrection, uh, Peter and, and his disciple go out and, and do fishing, and then Jesus is, is, is kind of calling them back, and, and he's eating with them, and when he's eating with with, uh, with, uh, with Peter and his disciples, Jesus is asking this question to Peter, "Do you love me? Do you love me, Peter?" And he says that yes, I do. And I think that that kind of shows his heart. Uh, it showed the, the, the heart of Peter, that Peter didn't deny Jesus with his heart. The same way with me, I didn't deny Jesus with my heart. I did it out of fear, not out of my heart. And that's the difference. I still love Jesus. And, and, and Jesus is, I think that's why one of the reasons why Jesus is asking this question, you know. Do you still love me? Yes, I love you. And that's the thing, if you have, have done the same thing as I, have, I did, or Peter did, the only thing Jesus is saying is he's not coming and, and, and with, with, a, with a finger and pointing at you and saying that, you bad sinner, how could you deny me? How could you deny me three times? He could have said that to, to Peter. And he can, some, sometimes we feel that God is saying that to us too, but he's not saying that. The only thing Jesus is saying and he wants to say to you right now is this do you love me do you love me do you want to get to know me more do you still love me that's the, the question that Jesus has for you nothing else and that's the older thing that it's all about is to have fellowship with him that's the thing God is after he wants your heart he wants to have fellowship with you he wants to, to be with you. He wants to talk to you. He wants to have fellowship with you. And even prayer is, how, is to have fellowship with God. Some people, they have a lot of condemnation because they're maybe not praying enough. But I cannot tell you, prayer is about communication with God. Just tell Him. Talk to Him. It's just about talking to Him. Really. You don't have to fold your hands and, and look your, uh, close your eyes and, and do anything like that. You don't need to do that. And just talk to him. Talk to him like a friend. And have a relaxed relationship with your father. With, with Jesus. Have a little relaxed relationship with him. That's what it's all about. And yes, it's good to pray. And I'm, I'm, I'm not against prayer. Don't misunderstand me. But, but prayer is mainly to communicate with God. Have communication with God. And everything is about that. And also let me say this very clear to you. And it, it will help you and to have boldness too and to have the, the, the security that you are saved. If you have questions that comes that says that you uh, or make you afraid that you have lost your salvation or denied God and maybe because you, you did in the, a sin or you said something you should not have said. If you have thoughts like that coming and you are afraid, I can guarantee you you have not denied him, you are not you have not um, lost your salvation or anything like that. Because you wouldn't have. If, if you had lost your salvation or, or kind of denied him or with your choice, you you wouldn't bother to listen to this teaching right now. You you wouldn't bother to, to, to listen to me right now. You have turned this off for a long time ago. You, you will not, if, if you have lost your salvation or denied God, you are not interested to hear this thing. So if you are 
listening to this right now you I, I can guarantee you God has not denied you you're not a, a yeah you, you you're not a, a, a uh, God denier in a way or or you lost your salvation or anything like that uh, or, or on you on your way uh, to uh, to get perished or that, that you are perishing or something like that you're not like that this this uh, subject wouldn't interest you at all if you have taken that decision to deny him so uh, I hope that uh, this was very clear for you right now and I hope that you you can be safe in this that God loves you that uh, you have not lost your salvation or you're not uh, de denied God but you are on the way to heaven you have a uh, God is, is, is for you he's not against you and, and if God is for you who can be against you God is a good God he wants the best for you he has the best life for you and don't be afraid don't be afraid of of, the, uh, of other people e either don't be afraid of people either because God is on your side he's always with you he will never leave you, never forsake you. That's the promise you have in the Bible. He say, also said, all the, who comes to him, he will not, not uh, push away. It says in the Bible, I think it's in John maybe, <clears throat> where it says that, that all that came to him, he did not push away. Every one that comes to him, he receives. Yes, you can choose to deny him, but I, I'm sure that you have not done that. If you're listening to this teaching or, or watching this teaching right now, uh, you have not lost your salvation or you are not denied you're not a God denier because then you wouldn't have have a listen to this so uh, this is what I had for for you uh, and <coughs> today uh, and remember to if you are Norwegian and uh, come into this teaching I have a Norwegian version of this teaching too and I even have a whole series in Norwegian about this subject this was like a, a snapshot of a, a whole a big subject actually uh, so uh, but I hope that I have helped you today uh, and I hope that uh, you see that God you're loved by God God is a good God he's for you he is not against you and yeah so and, and have a blessed still have a blessed Sunday uh,